guys, and welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, today's video is on Pearl Jam and a song uh, that ripped off a classic Kiss riff. Doesn't sound like, you know, Pearl Jam, Kiss, you know, we'll see. Spearheaded by bands like Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Alice in Chains, uh, the grunge movement stormed the music scene in the 1990s, redefining rock with its raw emotion, gritty sound, and unapologetic authenticity. authenticity. Among these luminaries, luminaries uh, stood Pearl Jam, a group whose powerful lyrics and unwavering commitment to social justice cemented their status as one of the most influential rock acts of all time. When Pearl Jam's ascent to stardom was swift and unexpected, the grunge band never anticipated being thrust into the spotlight and their level of success far exceeded their most ambitious dreams. In a remarkably short period, they transitioned from performing in a half-empty clubs to selling out arenas, a dramatic shift that Eddie Vedder needed time to come to terms with. Following the release of their breakthrough album, 10, Pearl Jam uh, remained largely under the radar of mainstream attention. However, by the end of 1992, more than a year after its initial release, 10 had become a best-selling record, forever altering the trajectory of their career. While 10 introduced a number of quintessential Pearl Jam hits, the debut single Alive provided the first piece of trilogy of songs, better deemed a mini-opera, uh, completed by the songs Once and Footsteps. Band member Mike McCready was also a devoted Kiss fan, uh, so much that he endured endless mocking for his admiration. However, his love for the music became the inspiration behind Alive when he endeavored to replicate a song as significant to him as Kiss, She. Discussing Kiss, Ace Fraley, uh, McCready, Kiss as Ace Fraley, McCready explained, I really gravitated toward his vibrato. My lead for Alive is based on She, and that's based on Five to One by The Doors, he said. I remember we were Surrey, England. I thought about it like I'm going to approach this like Ace did on She. And I remember the chord pattern that Stone Gossard wrote lent it that kind of descending pattern, so I kind of went for it. And then they improvised from there. According to Rolling Stone, McCready said he directly copied the riff from the iconic Kiss track. Regardless, Alive quickly became a fan favorite and a staple of Pearl Jam's live performances. It has its uh, anthemic uh, chorus and infectious energy resonated with audiences, propelling the song to commercial success. It reached the top of the pop charts and rock charts and received significant radio airplay, helping to establish Pearl Jam as one of the leading bands of the grunge movement. Uh, beyond its musical impact, Alive also held personal significance for better. The song's lyrics draw on his own experiences, including his discovery of his biological father's identity later in life. This added layer of authenticity and emotional depth was con contributed to the band's uh, song's enduring appeal. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not a huge fan of Soundgarden at all. You know, I'm a huge fan of Kiss if you come here at all. But uh, that's just two completely different styles, really. And But it's kind of neat how one song come together, you know, from, from just that. I mean, actually three different because it came from The Doors and Kiss and them. That's kind of neat. And uh, if you looked up there, you saw a picture of a kid dressed as Kiss. That was Mike McCready of Soundgarden dressed up like Kiss when he was a kid. I thought that was kind of neat. And you know what? Uh, if you were our Kiss fan or were a Kiss fan as a kid, you did take your knocks. You didn't take your kicks because they just weren't cool. You know, as where the music was great. I don't care what nobody says. I'm 60 years old, and that music was great. And when they took the makeup off, even better. And and great songwriters, good musicians, just a good band. Anyway, all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had a great weekend. By the way. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. It's on what happened to the actors and actresses from Laverne and Shirley. Old funny comedy back then, in the day, classic comedy. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and please like this video. I appreciate it. Uh, anything you want to see, let me know. Leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to uh, accommodate. You guys have a great day. God bless. Praying for you.